Welcome to Tips and Tricks. Today we're going to reset a Mac to factory specs. So let's say you have a Mac that you're trying to sell or you've sold it and you want to take all of your private and personal information off of it uh, but still have it as a working Mac for the person that's purchased it. So in this case it's a Mac, it's a MacBook Air that has macOS Catalina. It's the latest operating system at the moment, 10.15. And um, though this method will work all going all the way back uh, through most of the versions of Mac OS X. So even if you have an older version, an older computer, this method should still work for you. So the very first thing is to boot up your Mac into recovery mode. Each Mac has a recovery partition built into the hard drive. There's another way to do this actually too by creating a bootable USB key. And there's some videos on our channel showing you how to do that. You can boot from the USB key, reformat your hard drive to reload, reload the operating system. But rather than going through all those steps, we're gonna show you how to boot using recovery mode and set your system back to factory specs using that. So we're gonna switch into camera mode here just so you can see the key combination and the rebooting process. So we're in camera mode here. And what you need to do is restart your computer using the Apple menu. Go to Apple and then choose Restart, and then immediately hold down Command and then R. So you need to use two fingers, Command, R, and keep those held down until you see the computer boot up into recovery mode. And then I'll show you what that menu looks like when it boots up. Once a Mac is booted into recovery mode, you'll see this menu here, the Mac OS Utilities menu. So from here, what you need to do is choose Disk Utility. Double click on that. And the Disk Utility window will show up. So from here, you should be able to see the drive itself. So in this case, it's the Macintosh HD. That's the main drive where the operating system is loaded on. This one here is the recovery system that you booted from. So you can see over here, it's only two gigs in size. The Macintosh HD has one terabyte in size. That's our main drive. And then depending on your system, you might see a data drive like this. So from here, what we need to do is format the drive. So you hit erase and keep the same name. Great. Now it's done. So your drive has been fully erased. It's empty and ready to have a new operating system put onto it. So from here you can quit Disk Utility and the menu should come back up and you can choose to reinstall Mac OS. Hit continue. And you'll get the installation menu coming up. In this case, it's Catalina because that's the last system that was loaded on here. You can hit continue. And then agree. And you can choose your main hard drive. Macintosh HD. And you can let the operating system install on here. So from here, this could take some time. It could take half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour. But once it's done, your Mac will reboot and it will be back to the setup window. It'll be a completely fresh computer with none of your data on it and you'll be able to sell it or transfer it to a new owner without having any of your personal information on there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. We have lots of new videos coming up regularly with Mac tips and tricks. And if you find this uh, way of restoring your Mac to factory settings was handy for you, then share it, share it with your friends on social media, people that might benefit from it as well. 
Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.